My name is Kerry Fukunaga, and I am one of the writers and director of No Time to Die. Writing, to me, is essential to the filmmaking process. I can't really imagine directing something that I haven't written. The stages in which I start to visualize what a film is going to look like is driven by those moments of, of writing a scene and shaping a scene and where we enter the scene and how that scene ends, but also the surprises that happen in the middle. And those are things that come out of the writing process. The joys of collaboration are the surprises and the, the sort of the, the genius ideas or even just the inspiration that one offhand remark might spark a completely different direction in the script. Probably the most important parts of storytelling start in that writing process. The visuals of the film are as important as, you know, what's being said in the story to create an emotional effect. And the lighting throughout the film is meant to reflect not just the tone of what's taking place then, but also to add contrast between these various chapters that take place in, in, in the story. And I think that um, sunsets, despite them being classically and almost to the point cliche in terms of how beautiful they are, felt like the, the correct metaphoric lighting for this final chapter for Bond. It created challenges, you know, it creates any kind of challenge when you want consistent light for a long period of time in a story because that means that, you know, when you're shooting something, that's going to be days or weeks of the same kind of light. And sometimes it meant, like, we would have to shoot sequences where every day we would get a little bit of a wide shot done because we were getting these massive takes. And then for the closer stuff, we'd do much more controlled lighting. I think it means for the end result is that we have a, a very beautiful film and one argues that beauty is the way into uh, emotion. Somehow beauty unlocks the, uh, the walls that our emotions put up and allows us to feel things in a way that you know, if it was ugly and stark we would have kind of our defenses up to it. And I think the goal, at least my goal when I'm trying to tell a story, is to really um, uh, get people to feel as much as possible. So you can imagine why I've come back to play. I think one of the things I've walked away most proud about, and, and of course it's amazing to have, you know, the box office success that we've had, but the fact that, you know, it, it closes off uh, what I think is an incredible run for, for Daniel Craig as Bond. It closes off the chapter that we've seen and the story threads that have been put out there in a way that all the work that everyone has put into this thing for over the last 15 plus years, and yet it still feels like its own film and it makes sense. And you can laugh and you can cry, you can be excited and be on the edge of your seat and have all those emotions and yet it's all in one film and it works as a cohesive story. It works as part of the larger film and it works on its own. And the fact that we did it in basically no time, the fact that it functions, you know, I'm just enormously proud that, you know, through the writing and directing and cinematography and editing and, and all the work of all the people who have been part of these films before and all the effort and passion and, and professionalism they put into this, that we have this beautiful, little thing that's going to live on forever and that we can all look back on and saying, hey, we did that. <laughs>